Elementary here in Early Mart. So I teach um, K-5, I have K-5 students, but um, the Cardboard Challenge is mainly fourth and fifth graders. We have this really cool community event where some games, so I figured, hey, you know what? What if my fourth and fifth graders got to do like a cardboard games on the same night? One of the parameters was I need to make sure there's like a time limit because I didn't want to drag this out all year. Um, I also wanted to make sure that the kids had enough time to work on it. So I gave them five school days, five 30 minute blocks of time. Next year I'm gonna add like um, different sections because a lot of kids like they saw this one really cool one and they just wanted to all do that one. I was like, if another teacher is willing to do the cover challenge, what I recommend doing is number one, you need a lot of space. So if you have like an area to put it, like I found a C train at our school and I was like, hey, can I borrow that C train? Collecting little nits and little things that you don't think you'd ever need, but all of a sudden like, hey, I need this marble, Mr. Green, I need ping pong balls, hey, I need paper clips. It's like all these little nuts and bolts and little fabric things that kids don't have that you